one this week we have been learning how do brilliant mathematicians subtract numbers to ten. Um, so we used three methods this week. The first method was a number line method. We looked at using a ten string for our second method, and our third method was counting in our heads for a mental math method. So the first method we have a number line up to ten. Um, we have, are going to start with our first equation, which is five take away three. So what we do is we dot five. This time, because we are taking away or we are subtracting, we need to count backwards instead of going forwards. So we're going to go down our number line. And because we are taking away three, we are going to do a super jump. So one, two, three, circular answer, and the answer is two. The second method that we looked at this week was using our 10 train. And we use the analogy of um, the children being on a bus. So there were, for example, um, five people who were on the bus. One, two, three, four, five. Then three came off the bus. So we are going to cross out three. One, two, three. And uh, then we're going to say now there are, and we're going to count, kept counting, one, two, two people still on the bus. So first there were five people, then three came off the bus, now there are two left. And then finally for our last method, um, this one is something that we have been practicing a lot because it is quite tricky. So we are going to put five in our heads and we are going to put three on our fingers. Now unlike last week, instead of counting forward and adding, we are going to um, count backwards because we are taking away. So five, four, three, two. I have no fingers left, so the last number I said was two, so my answer must be two. So five, three on my fingers, five, four, three, two. Okay, so the children of our challenges can use any of these methods, one, two, or three, so the number line method, the 10 chain method, or using their fingers and their heads for their mental so I'm just going to share the screen now to show our challenges for this week. Here we go. So the panel challenge this week is, can you find 10 objects in from a random house and count backwards by kept counting? Our bit challenge this week is, can you solve the problems below by picking the biggest number in your head and counting back? So eight take away three equals, Six take away four equals seven take away five equals. And that's using our mental math method. And then for an extra challenge, we've got our submarine um, challenge. And it is can you create subtracted numbers of pieces using the pictures below? Um, so you can see that there are some pieces that are um, inside of the pen, there are some pieces that are outside. So you can see that that it could be um, the ones that are facing a certain way. Anything you like. Have a lovely weekend, everybody.